Sports jacket with jeans, easily one of my favorite clothing combinations. Three reasons why. Number one, it's flexible. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Depending on the sports jacket, depending on the jeans, you can take off the jacket and simply it's going to look good. Two, it's a step above average. It's not like wearing a suit. It's not like wearing a tuxedo. This is something that, you know, people will look at it and it's just slightly better. They don't know why, but you look like the man in charge. And finally, number three, sports jackets. They build up the shoulders. They slim up the waistline. They just make you look stronger and more masculine. In today's video, gents, how to wear a sports jacket with jeans and look amazing. Tip number one to wearing a sports jacket with jeans is to wear the right sports jacket. So you don't want to wear a jacket that is actually part of a suit. If you have one suit and it's navy blue and you think that I can wear this jacket with my jeans and look great, don't do that because you want to have your suit, your go-to suit ready when you need it. And if you wear them as separates, what can happen is they can start to discolor. You can stain one. You end up ruining your suit. Just don't do that. Go buy another jacket. Now with all clothing, I always talk about fit, function, and fabric. That's your style pyramid. So first off, the fit. If it doesn't fit you, don't wear it. But, you know, I'll link to infographics in the description where I talk about the fit of jackets, but first pay attention to the shoulders. It needs to fit you right in the shoulder points. Then look at the sleeve length. You can actually get this adjusted. You can actually get the sleeves even slimmed up. Look at the jacket length. It can be a little bit longer if you're a tall man, a little bit shorter if you are shorter than average, but in general, you want to make sure that it just barely covers your buttocks. Then you want to look at the overall fit in the chest and the torso area. This can times often be adjusted especially if you've nailed it in the shoulders. Now, there are other things to pay attention to. I talked about the actual function of the jacket, and that means the style and all those other aspects. You want to pay attention to the proportions. You want to pay attention to, you know, the pockets right here. These are going to be, you know, if you've got a ticket pocket like I do on this, that's going to make it a little bit more casual. You want to look at the lapels. You want to be looking for notch lapels. You can also look for sport lapels. Those are going to have a little bit of a tab over here because they're meant to be closed up. The point being, make sure that the look of the jacket is going to be on a sports jacket, more sporty, more casual. Now let's look at the fabric. Guys, a wide variety. I highly adv advise men first look at blues. So many different variations of blue. Obviously, I've got a navy blue here. You can't see it exactly, but it's got a small bird's eye pattern in this if you were to get up close. But many different variations out there. You've probably seen me wear this. It's a tan. It actually has a little bit of a white with a dark brown with a lighter brown, but from a distance, it looks like a tan. Now, this gold one, which many of you guys have seen me wear, I love it. Uh, this actually, again, has a repeating patterns. When it comes to patterns, normally you don't want to look for stripes. Stripes you would see in a suit. They usually mean business, but you can see sometimes a check. You can see a little bit thicker or heavier of a fabric. That's cool as well, but pay attention, again, to the fit, to the function, to the fabric, let's move on to the jeans. Tip number two to wearing a sports jacket with jeans, select the right jeans. That sounds simple, right? Guys, I still see so many men messing this up and they do this because they wear jeans that are way too light in color or they wear distressed jeans. They wear jeans with holes in them. Understand that if you're gonna wear them with a sports jacket, they need to actually be a little bit dressier. So you wanna go with dark, well-fitted jeans. Don't go skinny. Don't go loose. You want to go with a straight cut. You want to go maybe with a slim cut, but those are, you know, you don't want to go super skinny on that. It just doesn't match the profile. Now, when it comes to the fabric, again, you want to go for a heavier weight denim, something that usually I prefer the indigo. I think that's going to match just a wide range. It's going to go with all of the blue, various types of sports jackets. Now you can easily break it up by bringing in a tan, by bringing in that gold, some of those, maybe an olive green, that's still going to look great with the indigo blue. Now, you can go with grays. You can go with a dark gray. You can go with a black. You can go even with a maroon. I've seen that work really well. You can go with khaki jeans. Um, all of these, I think, are going to be third or fourth choices after you've got one to two pairs of really good uh, dark blue jeans. Now, lighter blues, I don't think work as well, but one thing to avoid with your jeans, don't go with anything with a lot of flashy, you know, sequins on it or anything like that. It just doesn't fit again with the level of, you know, again, we're not formal, but we definitely aren't casual with this. This is going to be a little bit more business casual and that's what we're shooting for with this combination. 
Tip number three, bring in the right types of shoes. So what you want to avoid are shoes that are too formal, patent leather, most black formal shoes. So we're talking Balmoral Oxfords. They're a little bit too dressy for this. In fact, many laced shoes, the only ones maybe brogues, maybe derbies, you can try to be, bring in. But I like to go for loafers. I like to go for a monk strap. I really like for you to try to bring in a dress boot. I think that this is a great time mixing it with the casualness of the jeans. You get to bring in something like this. Just beautiful. This is the time to wear the dress boot. A wide variety of brands out there. Maybe you want to bring in a Chelsea. You you can do that. Look at dark browns, look at light browns, look at oxbloods. Those are going to be your go-to shoes. Now some of you guys prefer black. The issue with black is it's almost too formal. It's a little bit too harsh of a contrast. Tip number four, wear the right shirt. So t-shirts I think are a little bit too casual for most people in most situations. But if maybe if you're the CEO of a tech company, you are in great shape. You just simply like this combination and you know how to pull it off. You're confident go for it. But I think most guys are going to be served by bringing in a collar. I think it just looks better in general. Now you can do this and still be casual bringing in a polo, maybe a short sleeve or a long sleeve. Uh, some guys are against the short sleeve. I think in hot weather you can still pull it off. You can go for a casual button down, maybe in denim or chambray or a color that you know maybe has a little bit of pattern to it. Be careful though, once it has brighter colors or patterns, it's going to be a lot harder to match with a little bit more of the formality of the sports jacket. So I like to keep it usually a solid or a color that has a small pattern that can't be seen from a distance and looks like a solid, like maybe a Oxford fabric or something like that. But at that point, we're getting getting into dress shirts and I think this is where it still works. You can, yes, you can wear the dress shirt with jeans by slipping the sports jacket over it. I think for most guys simply looking at whites, looking at small repeating patterns, uh, whites with blues, light blues, medium blues. You can even bring in some darker colors. Again, whenever you bring in darker colors, you bring in a lot of patterns. Technically, those are no longer dress shirts but they're still called dress shirts. The point being is you've got the color and you're making sure at this point that the colors are going to go together. Now, if you've got some patterns in your jacket, don't worry. As long as the patterns don't exactly match up, you'll be able to pull it off so you could have stripes in your shirt. You could have a Glen check in your jacket. That is perfectly fine. In fact, you could wear a pocket square which brings me to point number five. We're talking small details and accessories. The pocket squares, we're talking neckties. You can pull off both of those. I really like at this point that you bring in a casual necktie, maybe a knitted, maybe a wool, something that has you know a, a non-silk version. I think that this is the perfect time to bring in those. Some guys are going to talk about bolos. Not really my style but maybe if you're in New Mexico you could pull it off. Now pocket squares, this is where you should have a lot of fun. I like small different patterns I like paisleys, I like dots. This is where I have a lot of fun in the pocket square but make sure to wear a pocket square even if it's just a simple square presidential fold. Other small accessories to pay attention to, your watch, bracelets, rings, perhaps even your glasses. Have a little bit of fun with them. Maybe bring in different styles, bring in different colors. The great thing about the sports jacket with the jean combination is that you are dressed slightly above everyone else out there. So it's one of those outfits that you can have fun with other things. You can show your creative side, you can bring in color and at the same time you're going to be dressed better and more stylish than the vast majority of people out there. All right gentlemen, so now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What did I miss? What would you have added to this video to make it better? Let me know down there. I go in the comments. I engage with you guys. I love hearing from you. I'm also going to link to my free ebook on watches. Talk about why wear a watch. I talk about the details of watches, different types of watches. So if you want to learn more about watches, go grab that free ebook. Gentlemen, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.